blessing, 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 blessing. Yeah, baby girl, you're a blessing, 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 blessing. I want you to know you're a blessing. Hi guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I am gonna do a mukbang, mukbang, whatever you wanna call it. But I got some yummy um, Panda Express and I got um, broccoli beef and I got some soy sauce and some fried rice. Sorry you guys can't see me eating, but it's definitely here and I'm eating. But today I wanted to kinda come to you guys and talk to you about some mukbang drama. So. If you guys are interested in this video, stay tuned. Make sure you guys like, comment, share the video with your friends, subscribe if you have not, and let's get into the video. Okay guys, so first I just wanna start off by eating a little bit because we love Panda Express. And this video is gonna be basically about two of my top mukbangers that I love and the drama that they are currently in and from a subscriber's perspective um, I don't really want to be biased like or favor one person over the other in this instant but however I do have somebody's side that I care more for than the others um, so I'm I mean, take it how you want to. You feel how you feel, I feel how I feel. You can leave a comment down below letting me know whatever, however you feel about it. But this is just how I feel about it. And if you don't agree with that, that's okay. You're entitled to your own opinion. But you can take your opinion to your channel. So. Mm. So. About, I want to say two Two or three days ago, one of my top top people I watch on YouTube, a mukbanger, E with Q, she came out with a video spilling the tea on another top mukbanger that I watch. They both are my favorite mukbang channels to watch. My absolute favorite. I mean, I love them both. Um, but anyway, E with Q. She came out with a video, spilling tea on Beloved's life, basically saying when she did a collab with her, it was, she had a horrible experience. Okay. Mm. This beef chewy. Anyway, she did a collab with her. And she did a collab with her back in December. And she just basically recently said that it was a horrible experience. And she was exposing them for who they really are. Who they portray on YouTube. It's not their real personalities. And she didn't get what she expected. Her visit to the town was bad. You know, she just got all bad vibes. Caught a lot of red flags. And... Even though she was having this bad experience and um, she still wanted to go to work basically because it was for business. You guys were collabing basically because a lot of um, subscribers wanted to see you guys collab together. And I'm pretty sure you guys liked each other's videos as well. It wasn't just the subscribers that wanted you guys to meet. You guys wanted to meet each other and do the collab. Whatever. I wanted to see them collab for the longest too anyway. So this was, you know, good. So they did the collab and in the videos, I loved it. And I usually like both of these people because they inspired me. They have inspired me to start my channel. Now, I'm very, very new to my YouTube channel, but I'm not new to YouTube. Like I watch YouTube all day if I could. However, I, I, I'm a working woman, I'm a mother and I have priorities. So YouTube does not take number one as of right now. Eventually, I'm gonna claim that I'm gonna get them. Anyway. Be Love and Ewa Q did a collab video where Ewa Q drove out to eight hours to, to uh, do this collab with Be Love, Be Love's Life. And she was saying it was awful, blah, blah, blah. She had a, a horrific experience exposing her bad mannered family. Everybody was so just, just treated her awful, her and her sister. And 
a few days have went by, a day or so I would say, and yesterday on on one of Beloved's son's channel, Darius, he posted a video with them all responding to, well, part one to them responding to the EWQ um, video. Now, EWQ did um, a part one and a part two. And a part one, she was just basically saying from her point of view how everything went. And part two was her and her sister, what her sister basically felt, you know, from a different standpoint, I, I, I guess. So... They did their video saying that, you know, they got bad vibes and everybody was just so distant and they just didn't get what they thought they were going to get because of what they see on YouTube. And I don't know who else knows that, but I, or many people that I know who I watch are not what you see on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? You can't judge a book by its cover. You see a, a, a covered book, a coloring book. And just for an example, you see a coloring book and it's all animated on the front, colored, metallic. And you're like, oh my God, I want this so bad. It's just, this is perfect. This is, you know, you just got this high expectation of what it's going to be like on the inside. And then you open it and all the pages are plain. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what I'll compare it to because that's how I got it. And this video is just my personal perspective and what I, what I feel about it, honestly. And... It may not be important to anybody, but both of these women are very um, big to me, basically. They have these platforms, and they have done so many outstanding, amazing things to inspire so many people to start YouTube, so many people to, to do great things in their own personal lives, and this drama... I just don't feel like it was worth it. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it was something that could have been settled off of YouTube. However, YouTube is a place where drama is just drama lives in YouTube. Drama lives in social media. Drama is all about drama. And society loves drama. We love the drama. I didn't expect this at all because damn broccoli. When I watch EWQ videos. I'm always watching because she always got a message. She always so positive and uplifting and, and loving and caring. And I just love that vibe from her. And it's just, some days I'm just like so down and I'm just, I'm just having a rough day as a mother, as a wife, as a employee, as a person, as a human being. I am having a very hard day. Go home, watch YouTube, and E with Q will have something, you know, something, a positive message that she gives out. And that will make me feel so much better. It will help me, you know, get through that, whatever I was feeling. <clears throat> help me to make whatever next move I need to make. Um, help me see, like, the bigger picture. And sometimes it takes somebody else to, to get you to, you know, to open your eyes. And sometimes when I watch her videos, that's what I do. You know, she's she's inspired me to create a vision board. She inspired me to write out my goals. You know, she just inspires me to do so much positive in the world. Then I see this video. And when I first saw the part one, I was just like, hmm. I wouldn't think that Be Love would be like that because um, she does collabs with everybody. And nobody has ever, like, said anything negative about her. Not saying that they would. Uh, they might have said it behind closed doors or whatever, if, the, if that was the case. Um, but I just didn't think that Q would use her platform, her positive platform, um, to um, basically talk down or talk bad about somebody else that's an influencer. You guys are both influencing so many people. And I get it. Q is human. We are all human. And I absolutely understand, you know, Humans make mistakes. So I, I just, I feel like Q should have been a little bit more um, open-minded about going somewhere that's different than what you're used to and expecting a certain thing. You know, you can't go everywhere and expect everything to be what you thought it was going to be. You got to have an open mind. You can't expect everybody to be who you want them to be. So anyway... Yesterday on Bel um, Darius's channel, Beloved's Younger Son, they posted a part one responding to Q like they felt blindsided from 
this video a hug because she was saying how much she loved you. I mean, uh, beloved. She was saying how much, you know, she was just so excited. She had the best time. Even when she came back from the, from that collab, when she did her next video on her own channel, she never said anything about her having a bad time. She said, I loved it so much. She was had good hospitality. It was just, it was an amazing time. Now, out of nowhere, it changed. Now, Eva Q just recently did collabs with, um, I know Steph and Tasha for sure. Steph and Tasha. Um, I'm not sure who the other collabs were. I didn't see the video, so. But, um, she, once she came back from them, then that's when she dropped this video about how her bad experience was. And she wanted to expose these powerful people because they're not upholding Christian ways and family life and they just stuck up and snooty and, and I'm just like was that really necessary? Q you have over 300,000 people watching your channel you know do you think that was a good move? Hmm. I'm not saying I'm not saying take it from my experience you're not going to vibe with everybody you're not going to be on the same page as everybody but, don't go somewhere and say, you had the best time of your life, and then months later, you change your story to, I hated it, I was treated so horrible, I cried the whole eight hours back home. Huh? I'm confused. And that's not going to make me feel like, stop watching Q's videos, because I know she must be going through something, or something happened where she wanted to post this and get this out, or whatever. Um, and she may do, she may as well feel that, um, this is something that was real and she needed to let everybody know that be loved, not who she says she is, her family, not who they portray to be, blah, blah, blah. This is what she needed to do. I'm going to still watch her because she's still my girl and everybody has their downfalls. Everybody has their disagreements. Because you disagree with somebody doesn't necessarily mean, you know, that you don't watch them again. You don't. She's she has done more positive in my life personally than negative. So I'm just saying this platform, huge platform that she has, could have been used for other things, other than pulling somebody else down. What do you get out of that? That's what I want to know. What do you get from tearing another positive influencer down? Like I I don't know. I just feel like y'all. You two are grown adult women who have exchanged telephone numbers, who have seen each other face to face, and I don't understand why you couldn't tell. If you, I don't understand why you just let this go on so many months and not say anything. I am a very outspoken person when it comes to uh, keeping it real, and if I walk into somebody's house, if I drive to somebody's town and I feel all this negative energy. If I walk in these people's house and I say, you know what, I'm going to suck it up and I'm going to do this first video, I'm not going to stay for a second video. I'm going to say, you know what, I really enjoyed your company and having this video and I appreciate you coming out, you know, inviting me in. Um, but I don't think I'm going to stay and do the second video with you. I, I'm just not, you know, feeling it. You know, that's just me. I don't know how everybody else is. You, you know, you wait until you get home and you wait months later to expose her own, you know, YouTube in front of 300 and some thousand people was that necessary you could have sat down with her face to face while you was there and said you know I I really thought this would be different I had a, I had some different expectations of my visit to your home with your family um, and as an adult I've learned that you just have to deal with things differently you don't just hold grudges and you know talk about people behind their back or whatever you secretly just stop following her you do this this video about her and you never told her that this is how you felt i'm not saying you 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 know don't feel it then you bring your sister into it and you bring her to also pull down this experience that you had because she had it too because she was there i just don't i just don't like that 
as a subscriber it it just brings bad bad vibes and at this point in my personal life i'm not looking for none of that negative stuff you know i'm trying to get past it because people gonna bring you down and people feed on negative energy and i don't want none of that in my life right now i got enough of it i saw b love's video and her youngest son darius was very hurt all of them was hurt darius was hurt dalvin was hurt nate was hurt b love was hurt b love was shocked like I didn't even know she felt like this about me. Like, all of them was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Where did this come from? You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, this is how you feel. That's cool. But you didn't say none of this stuff. Like, and then Q was just, oh my gosh, the town, everybody was staring at me and asking me, love, you don't get this? You don't feel like this? Why you, I'm pretty sure if we love lives in the town and she felt like people treated her a certain way, stared at her when she got, you know, when she went grocery shopping. When she got a bad bath in that town, she wouldn't live in it. My personal opinion. But, like I said, my personal opinion. Like I said, again, I'm not staying in nobody's house. I'm not doing no collabs. If I'm uncomfortable and this doesn't feel right. You know, you said, Q, eat what Q said. This was a business thing for, I feel like a business exchange. Is just This was just business for Beloved. It was just business for you too because as you state, you didn't have a good time. You, um, you were treated so awful and had, you know, was disrespected and nobody treated you like this or like that or whatever. This was, it was just business for you too because if it wasn't, you would have left. You would say, you know what, I can't do this video. I don't want to fake it. Because you don't like fake people, right? Anyway. I'm going to get into this. Mmm. Fool. But. This is my opinion on it. They should have handled things off of YouTube. YouTube got enough drama. Mmm. I still love the both of them. I'm still going to watch the both of them. I just, I'm going to pray that they resolve this as adults and get past it. We should go back to watching videos that are worth it because that wasn't worth it. And I hope y'all like this video. I know y'all couldn't really see me eating, but I'm eating. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, share with your friends, and I will see you in the next video.